What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. I've got another shiny brand new iPad Pro 9.7 inch edition. So just like the iPhone SE, I wanted to test the waterproofing and water resistance capabilities. Are there any whatsoever? I know Apple doesn't advertise these for water resistance at all. A lot of us use our iPads at our actual bathtubs. So if you drop this thing, let's say it settles in a foot of water, how long can it sit there before picking it up and having it die on you? And if it does survive, what will work? I wanna test you know, the headphone jack, ports, cameras, all the usual, see if it's still working. So this is just the Wi-Fi version, unlike the LTE one I had. It's a very gorgeous, beautiful device, the camera, protrudes a little bit but other than that you know it's a stunning very very powerful ipad let's see how it does when it takes a bath and how long it can survive all right so the space gray ipad pro will it meet a shallow grave or will it survive and if it does survive what will keep working so galaxy over here water resistant so we can go ahead and get this timer running anyways uh let's do this man so this is like a titanic going into the water and in it goes just like that boom and we're going to place the galaxy s7 right next to it yeah so there's a good amount of water in here and with such a large device there's a ton of room for the water to go ahead and enter every single crevice on this ipad pro now the other ipad pro we actually did this with survived for a good amount of time but i couldn't resuscuate it after so i'm curious to see if this one does any better. Apple is known for adding little tiny capabilities here and there that we usually don't know about. So let's go ahead and leave this guy in here. Getting close to a minute, let's see how it does. So the cool thing about this new iPad Pro is it does have a new True Tone display. So unlike Night Shift on iOS 9.3, it's better calibrated to suit every environment. So that display is working wonderfully underwater. You know, my eyes just, they're so pleasant to look at this thing underwater. I love the color temperature on it, so definitely working there. Hopefully we can see some action here, but so far, getting close to two minutes and nothing. Let's let it sit for longer. So at six minutes, the display has started to freak out. And if you actually look in the bottom right, there's multiple layers, just like in the iPad Pro, that have water damage visibly on them. So it's kind of interesting. But the iPad itself is still trucking along, opening a whole bunch of random apps and all that, but overall still looking decently good. So uh, let's keep going here. I don't know how long it'll last. I don't think it has a lot of time left. I'd be surprised if it survived to 10 minutes. You can definitely see the water creep, a lot of damage there in the bottom right. Definitely something you're not gonna walk away from and be able to use your iPad perfectly at the end. So on we go. So it continues to spread and I could visibly see it spreading onto the messages icon. You know, it's going upwards, outwards, but display is still working. I was very surprised with the last one and with this one, no different at almost eight minutes, still alive. You know, at this point though, if you leave it in there, forget about using this thing normally. And it's kind of interesting the effect I'm getting uh, because of the new Apple Pencil layer, the display itself has a 3D look to it. When we, uh, I'll take it out if it's still working, I'll get a little bit more detail, but with the layer of water damage that's spreading out, you can definitely see the layers in the display. It's kind of interesting and creeping forward and forward in front of my eyes. So uh, approaching 10 minutes soon. And the display is starting to dim, probably seeing a failure of the backlight. I mean, it's still lit, but it's very, very dim. And this was on max brightness. So very, very apparent water damage. It's hard to hide on an iPad. On an iPhone, you know, they lasted a very, very long time. Here, that's not the case. So we should be wrapping this up very soon. But hey, at 10 minutes, it did survive. And I was very surprised for that. Wow, now that is something I have never seen before. Holy crap, look at that display. It is glitched in the weirdest, strangest way. Uh, <laughs> That, uh, that's actually so amusing. I've never seen something like that. So, um, all right, so approaching 14 minutes and it's interesting because the display just got stuck in that glitch phase and <laughs> we can see a little static in between. That is so interesting. The colors are uh, different. It's like it's inverted in some areas. That is one mother of all glitches. All right, so as we're approaching 15 minutes, uh, the iPad seems unresponsive. I just want to interact with this a little bit. We're going to take it out and see what's going on right now because I have no idea what is going on. This could be the secret 
to the jailbreak on iOS 9.3? Guess we'll find out. So approaching 15 minutes, let's go ahead and pop this guy out of here. Oh, wow, and just, uh, just as I reached for it, the screen went dark. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. It's exactly 15 minutes. There's a huge flicker there. There's a lot of water coming out of here. Let's try and evacuate it all. But the display is still alive. Okay. Wow, very, very interesting. So that's all I can see. There's a flicker and some glitchiness right there. Huh, okay. Power button not responding, none of this. I'm gonna go ahead and try and hard reset this. See if I can get that to work. But actually, it's not responsive at all to touch. Wow, <laughs> quite the show this iPad is putting on for me. I did not expect that. About 15 minutes, I guess you could say that was the end game for this iPad. Beyond that, you know, this is all that would happen to you. So if you do drop your iPad in the bath, do take it out before 15 minutes and you might have a shot at still surviving. Otherwise, this is, uh, this is it. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what else I can do to this. This is clearly unresponsive, broken. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, the iPad did put on quite the show for us. So have a great day. Be sure to check out the other iPhone SE and iPad Pro videos. A lot of good stuff and a lot more coming. Peace.